This na Opkonas, the only pigeon podcast for the Naja Astar fandom worldwide, locally, internationally. Opkonas. Um, I greet you all around the world. You will listen to my voice right now. No forgetting that you be the real MVP. I de greet you. All right, my name is Archangel Gabriel. I go like to come out for a game between us and Leicester City. Yeah, wonderful game, wonderful play, wonderful outing. Uh, for the very first time this season, I go like to a special salute to our we manager, Mikel Arteta. Not for anything, but for proving us otherwise. Now, before this particular game, I first and foremost, with my couple of friends, we sit down to watch the game. I start criticize this code we he used for this particular game. I criticize to an extent where I just did the wait, make I see the outcome of the kind of score we he make. Yeah, he did a rotational kind of thing he rotates the squad but then me seeing rotation of rotation uh, rotation of the squad for now i felt disappointed why because we never for this season reach that level of this kind of high extent of rotation yes as of a time when we try gain our mojo now one of the things i have not to preach about with that now one of the things i don't worry about with that so we need a good rotation of the team in order for we to know we first 11 but then seeing the rotation this time around at first i felt disappointed these are my reasons one we are just trying to breed and build up a strong 11 we've gotten first 11 for now we'll get that mentality winning spirit Yes, even if we don't get complete 11, we don't get some specific players with the, in that mentality of winning and delivering week in, week out. Who are these players? Bukayo Saka, Pe Emre Kubama Young, uh, Rob Hood in the defensive uh, aspect, Danny Ceballos to an extent, Smith Rowe to an extent, then Martin Odegaard will come join us in recent time. Now, I was expecting to see the same crop of players. Why? Because within the winning spirit, make we build a first 11 around them. Now, seeing that, I know said all of them, especially Bukayo Saka and Pe Emre Kubama Yang in the starting lineup. Truthfully speaking, you as an Arsenal fan who don't follow Arsenal this particular season, if you see that squad, you go surely para. And that's not the same mood I've been doing. But having seen that this same squad who the para about end up to give us a good result like this, I must say kudos to the manager. Yes, it really, really shows eh, if he built up a squad even when we know Siam. Now he did deal with the players, now he did deal with the boys, especially when they, they train. So now he know them more than we do. Although, when they don't deliver, we go see Passam. But I must congratulate him for this wonderful rotational mindset we can get. I like the game. I like the spirit behind it. And don't forget that before this particular rotation we he make, he did already make a rotation in the attacking force. Don't forget to pay Emre Kubama Young at the beginning of the season, he did always come from the wing side. But since it turn him, go the attacking side, he can not give in result because it is called week in, week out. You understand? So I must commend Mikel Ateta not for anything, but for the spirit of rotation. And it worked out. So I believe so, Mikel Ateta, despite the fact Say sometimes I don't doubt him. I still get small hope. Say he has an agenda in the team if he's been given the chance to explore. But the thing is, you go come ask yourself one question. In recent day football, do we still have what is called patience? No. 
our team, na team for so long, close to four seasons now, never go Champions League. My brother, patience no day with us. So, in other words, what I try to make you understand, what I try to make understand is just one thing. Mikel Atata has what it takes. Make him work with what he can get. Now, uh, I still must commend the effort of uh, Lacazette. Yes, in as much as now few people come out to commend him, but I must tell you, he was one of the most essential players in the game today. He played it out. He fought it out. He gave his best. And in recent times, even when they started to put him from bench, in recent games, Lacazette has been giving his best. It's just that, uh, to an extent, not too much encouragement from the team, not winning. You understand? So, you know, if you blame him, far from that, I still must commend uh, the effort of uh, William. Yes, William's never they give us anything since we sign him. Apart from the first game where he gave uh, uh, an assist and he played it out, apart from that particular game till now, he never still doing anything. But then, uh, from the look of things, from our last game for Europa League, coupled with this today's game, I must say, uh, William is gradually coming up to speed. I just hope say we next game in no go in no go in no go relax. And uh, who else played it out? Yes, Nicolas Pepe. Nicolas Pepe, the only thing is uh it fluctuates like Nepal light. Now just the problem with that or whenever he gives his best, I this always see him say he will surely surely deliver for us now. But the problem is inconsistency. Today he played very fine. Tomorrow now we will see another different ball game. So I don't know what to go really, really do in order to fight this consistency issue within our players. But I must, I must say one of the best ways to fight consistency in the team not to, not to the, at least give every player a chance to play, play even if they no go start. At least once in a while you bring them in. Nobody say play a day, no day in form. You go drop them for bench the end of month. Drop them out for like two, three games. No. At times you go just put them out, even if not for 15, 15 minutes, 10, 10 minutes to the end of month. Make them at least they sweat it out. They try to put in their little best inside the team. And so for now, I must say Nicholas Pepe, I don't want to conclude on the matter. I just want to give him kudos for this particular game today with him play. But I still expect more from him. If not before the season end, at least start of next season now another player i must commend david lewis the only problem i have with david lewis for big matches he always makes some kind of errors so they lead to penalties and red card which is not important david lewis now one central player where michael Akita really need to work with he needs to speak to his psychology make him for the calm down making the making you know the tense when it comes to a big game making the i know saying get confidence but then he needs to calm down. He's a good player. He's an experienced player. He's one of the defenders we should be banking on week in, week out. But because see, that big match mentality of fighting it out at times, they affect him. Now they make way, you know, the two deliver. So I literally need uh, Mikel Atata to speak to his uh, psychology. Then Pablo Mari, another wonderful defender, with the way anytime they future in our games, they play it out. Another player I still need to commend, uh, Suarez, yes. Suarez, another wonderful player. I need to commend that guy. He has been awesome whenever he plays. Uh, I really, really like the challenge what they see for inside with defense line, especially from the wing back. Whenever Bellarino play, would they still see would they still see a good game from the from the wing back? Uh, Thierry, uh, Kieran Tierney, another wonderful leg. I need to commend him. Then our midfielders, especially Granit Xhaka, I need to uh, kudos to you. Yes, kudos to you. But I still need to uh, talk to him. As in the guy, he needs to calm down. He gets some kind of lackadaisical attitude when they put you know they go well. But then I still believe say uh, consistency and um, no him consistency has not been a problem. Uh, the thing is he needs to calm down. He needs to work on his anger. He needs to work on himself. You understand? And then that person I need to commend, uh, uh, the Mohamed um, Elneny, another wonderful leg. He did well today. The, in short, the whole team played well today. The only thing is consistency. After today, Mekunoko they experienced another kind of vexation because today it was a good fight. Our last game between us and Benfica for inside uh, Europa League, it was a good fight. If we continue like this to the end of the season, we go get a better result and a better place. My name never changed. My name still remains that angel will not get wings. That angel will not fly. But you know the matter. Uh, me not fly, boy. Make we enjoy the rest of the day as the odds. Up, Gunners! This production is brought to you by Tony Dog Media.
Be sure to share the podcast on your favorite social media channels.